Hello, and welcome to the Folklore and Fiction Podcast. My name is Kelly McCath Morin. I'm a PhD candidate in the Folklore Department at Memorial University of Newfoundland, and I'm also a speculative fiction writer under the pseudonym C.S. McCath. The Folklore and Fiction Podcast and Dispatch synthesize these passions with a focus on folklore scholarship aimed at storytellers. You'll find the Folklore and Fiction archive along with the rest of my work online at folkloreandfiction.com. Interested listeners will find a link to the current dispatch in the show notes, where a more comprehensive record of this episode can be found, including a bibliography and other references. In this episode, I'll be exploring ATU 113B, The Cat as Sham Holy Man. Let's begin with a Syrian fable about the king of mice, the king of cats, and a pilgrimage to Mecca. The Cat Who Went to Mecca A long time ago, the king of the cats went on the pilgrimage to Mecca. When he returned, the king of the mice felt obliged to pay him the traditional visit of congratulations on his safe return as a haji, or pilgrim. He said to his subjects the mice, Etiquette demands that we go to his house and welcome him back formally. The mice were not convinced. The cat is our enemy. How can we go near him in safety? The king explained, Now that he has been to Mecca and become a haji, he is no longer free to do what was permitted before. Nowadays he remains at prayer from dawn till sunset, and the prayer beads never leave his hands. The mice were not persuaded. You call on him and see, they said. We shall wait here for you. So the king of the mice set out. He poked his head out of his hole and looked around. There sat the king of the cats, the white cap of a pilgrim on his head. He was praising God, murmuring prayers, and every now and then spitting over his shoulder, first to his left and then to his right, in case the devil was lurking behind to distract him from his devotions. But no sooner had the king of the cats caught sight of the king of the mice peeping out of his hole than he dropped his rosary and sprang. And but for God the preserver, he would have bitten the mouse's tail right off. The king of the mice jumped back into his hole and rejoined his subjects. How is the king of the cats after his pilgrimage, they asked. Let's hope he has changed for the better. Never mind the pilgrimage, said the king of the mice. He might pray like a haji, but he still pounces like a cat. ATU 113B is an animal tale under the subcategory Wild Animals and Domestic Animals, and the ATU Index summarizes it this way, quote, 113B, the cat as sham holy man. A cat, Tom Cat, who pretends to be a holy man, a pilgrim, enlists mice, rats, as disciples. It eats them one by one as they file by or listen to his sermons. In some variants, the cat fails to deceive the mice. K815.13. Consult K815.7. Consult types 20D, 165. End quote. There are two tale types listed as additional references, and one of them, 20D, is the more useful for our discussion. Quote, 20D. Pilgrimage of the Animals. Previously, cock and other animals journey to Rome to become Pope, including the previous type 61A. A rooster wants to go to Rome in order to become Pope, B296.1. His wife accompanies him along with more and more other animals. They meet the fox, who invites them to rest in his den. He asks them to sing and eats them one by one afterwards. See type 20C. Often the fox pretends to go on a pilgrimage to a convent. Other animals, chicken, duck, goose, magpie, sparrow, go along with him. The fox asks to hear the This episode of the Folklore and Fiction podcast is a preview, and you can listen to the full episode on the Folklore and Fiction website. 
Just click on the dispatch link in the show notes or go to folkloreandfiction.com and sign up for a free account. Thanks very much for your interest. Copyright 2019 to 2023. Kelly S. McCath Morin. All rights reserved unless Creative Commons licensing is specifically applied.